if Bruce Lee really could beat me in a, in a fight, I would really, um, I would really think huh? this is a, an, an interesting world because that should not happen. Welcome to Bruce Lee Real Fight Channel. How good was Bruce Lee in real fighting? Bruce Lee has been rated as the fastest martial artist of all time, the best fighter of his era, the best street fighter, and Time Magazine even named him one of the 100 most important people of the 20th century. However, Bruce Lee never fought in a ring in his entire life. This is one main reason there is so much disrespect for Bruce Lee in ring fighting, especially in mixed martial arts MMA today. Even one of Bruce Lee's best friends, Chuck Norris, a former world karate champion, said that Bruce Lee had never fought in the ring. Yeah. They're not fighting each other. No, you know, I was a, I was a professional fighter. <laughs> and he was not. He no, was a... mm -hmm. but he was good. He was good. Nowadays, some novice fighters even claim that they would floor a prime Bruce Lee. From the mid 60s to early 70s, Bruce Lee trained in different kinds of martial arts. He learned everything useful from the best teachers in the world. For instance, he learned Taekwondo kicks from Jun Ri, who is widely recognized as the father of American Taekwondo. Additionally, Bruce Lee learned nunchucks from Dan Inocento, Wing Chun from Yip Man, and various fighting techniques from the best fighters in each field. I remember the first time I met Bruce Lee. Uh, uh, that time he's not he would not study uh, shooting in Hong Kong. He just come visit in Hong Kong, you know. He come to my set. I was an action choreographer at that time, and uh, and he somebody in, introduced him for me. Oh, this Bruce Lee, the same home, blah, 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 blah. I said, oh, hello, hello. And then I said, are you really fast? Then he would ask me, what do you mean? I said, mm hmm, what do you mean? They said, you want to try? I said, not bad, okay. Then we try. Then we try, then we're holding there, we're standing there. Then I try to kick him. I try to start kick him. My kick just go to the halfway, and he he fit already on my face. Like that. I'm just like that. And then what do you say? I say you really fast. <laughs> oh, it's very fast, you know. Not only did Bruce Lee never fight in the tournament, but he also did not pursue any traditional ranks in other styles as practiced today. Bruce Lee never had any rank in Taekwondo. Although his sidekick could generate a formidable 500 pounds of force, he also never had any rank in Wing Chun. Although he could throw 9 punches in a fight, Bruce Lee combined all the fighting styles he learned to develop Jeet Kune Do, or the way of the intercepting fist, or the art of fighting without fighting. Therefore, Bruce Lee is actually one of the first pioneers of the mixed martial arts MMA style of fighting. Do you agree? You ask any fighter out there growing up who their inspiration was, everybody says Bruce Lee. You know, the Gracies were, were founding fathers of the actual UFC, but I think the sport of mixed martial arts was started by Bruce Lee. The biggest reason people are curious about Bruce Lee's real fighting ability is that he never fought professionally. There is a difference between a professional fighter and someone who can fight for real. A professional fighter often fights in a ring with certain rules. For instance, you cannot hit below the belt. A real fighter is someone who has the potential to fight anyone, of any size, anytime, anywhere, with no rules. And yes, Bruce Lee is considered one of the greatest fighters ever. And when you're talking about combat, well, I mean, if, if, it, if it is a sport, now, now you're talking about something else. You have regulations, you have rules, but when you're talking about fighting as it is, oh, with no rules, real fighting. well then baby, you better train every part of your body. Jim Kelly, a former karate world champion who was way taller and bigger than Bruce Lee, said Bruce Lee could take him down within seconds. You also had John Saxon, Bruce. Yeah. Yeah. Was there anybody else that you remembered specifically? That there were some scenes that were your favorites? Or some scenes that were more difficult than others because of whatever. Hmm. Uh, no, I. No, I uh, enjoyed working with John Saxon. Yeah. John Saxon, great. Actor. I was very fortunate to have, in my opinion, the greatest martial artist ever lived. Yeah. Uh, Bruce Lee. I'll talk to you about that later. Probably, probably have questions for me on that. But in my opinion, I'll tell you right now. Uh, I've been. I fought the best. I trained with the best. 
I know, I know great mar I know great martial artists, and there's, there's never been anybody, in my opinion, like Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was unbelievable, mm -hmm. absolutely unbelievable, guys. You, you you don't know how great this guy was. People don't really know. Well, I think they do actually, because he he's still the icon. Mm -hmm. I mean, as Fred Weintraub said, when you say Western, some people may think of John Wayne, some people yeah. may think of Clint Eastwood. Yeah. But when you say martial arts, that's right. Bruce and, Lee's and, the first name. That's right. And I, you know, I'm not just talking about uh, uh, actor or right. I'm talking about martial artist, right? Guy who knew his stuff. Mm -hmm. The yeah, this guy was. I I, I don't. I, there's stories I know about Bruce Lee that I don't even share. <laughs> Because I have more, I have respect for the people, other people in the martial arts, and I, it's not necessary for me to name names. I know, I know who Bruce Lee sparred with. Yeah, I know. They won't tell you, but I know people he sparred with. I never mention their names either. But Bruce Lee was untouchable. Yeah. If what Jim Kelly said is not convincing enough for you, let's see what Mike Tyson, a world heavyweight boxing champion, thinks about Bruce Lee's real fighting skills. Bruce Lee had the awesome philosophy about life, and he blew me away. Bruce Lee's a killer. You hurt your man, you do as much damage as you can, and you get out. You know what I mean? Without being hurt, less damage on yourself as possible. You should have so much respect for his philosophy. His philosophy is like the ultimate um, warrior philosophy. Life is like water. Fighting is like water. You have to adapt. Wow, this is deep. Bruce Lee gets me deep when I talk about Bruce Lee. Besides Mike Tyson, Jim Kelly, and Chuck Norris, Jackie Chan also said that Bruce Lee was so fast that if you blink, you wouldn't see his kicks. Bruce Lee kick, you don't shut your eyes. Because when you shut your eyes, you cannot see Bruce Lee King. You know how fast? Bruce Lee's greatest achievement is not how many tournaments he won, but how many people he inspired and still inspiring. Even today, many people start to learn martial arts or any fighting technique because of Bruce Lee. The argument is Bruce Lee never declared himself to be the best fighter or a pro fighter. He simply loved martial arts and loved to assist his students in becoming world champions, Joe Lewis being one of them. Bruce Lee also strongly believed in improving one's body and mind. Of course, Bruce Lee was not superhuman. People love Bruce Lee because of his insight, philosophy, especially in fighting, charisma, struggle, ambition, and mainly his unique character. He has been gone for almost 51 years and people are still debating about him. Don't you think this is a great achievement that no one else has ever matched? What do you think about Bruce Lee's real fighting ability? Please do not hesitate to leave your comment below. Last but not least, please subscribe to this channel and we will see you in the next video soon. Thank you for watching Bruce Lee Real Fight YouTube channel.